Hello everyone, welcome to the ArcScan YouTube channel. In this video, we will show you how to manually install your ArcScan printer using the Windows command prompt. ArcScan's YouTube channel offers free help and tips for label printers and other e-commerce technology. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. If you have recently run the Windows printer driver installer and you received an installation failed at the end, or you ran the driver installer and the printer is not listed in printers and scanners, we will need to manually install the printer using the command line. So first, copy and paste the command that is provided in this video description. For convenience, I have pasted mine into Notepad. There are two areas in this command that we will need to update for it to work properly. One of them is the Windows account username. The other is we will need to retrieve the USB port number that the printer is plugged into. Let's start with the USB number. To retrieve the USB port number, go to the search box or magnifying glass in the taskbar, type in the word device, and click on the device manager. Scroll down to the Universal Serial Bus Controller. Double click to expand the list. In this list, we're looking for either four barcode or in this case, USB printing support. Whichever one yours has, these steps will be the same. If you have multiple USB printing supports listed, then please power off any additional printers that may be connected to your computer and only leave the ArcScan powered on. So let's right click, go to Properties, Details tab, and in the Property drop-down list, select Children. And please note that these are not in alphabetical order. You'll notice at the end of the information placed in the value box, there's a USB number. In this case, it's USB 002. We will need to update our command line with this number. So I will make this USB 002. Next, we need to retrieve the user account name. We can cancel out of the device manager and close the window. When the driver installer was run on the computer, it created a folder called Seagull on your desktop. Once you locate the folder Seagull, right click Go to Properties, and next to Location, we are provided the username for this particular account. In this example, it's Demo, so we will need to add this to our command line. So erase the placeholder and type in the username for your account. So now that we have all the command line information filled in, let's highlight the entire command and go to Edit and Copy or Control-C on your keyboard. Go back down to the search box, type the word Run, Enter, and in this empty field, you can either right-click and paste or Control-P on your keyboard. Click OK, and when this Windows prompt appears, select Yes or type in the user password if required. We should now be returned back to the Windows desktop. It looks like nothing has happened, but if we go to printers and scanners, by typing printer into the search box, selecting printers and scanners, we will see that the ArcScan printer is now listed. The printer is installed, but we still need to select the proper label size in the driver. To do this, click on the printer name, select Manage, Printing Preferences, Page Setup tab, and in the drop-down list, be sure to select the 4x6 paper size. If your paper size is not listed, please see our video on how to create a custom paper size. In this example, we're going to stick with the 4x6, so go ahead and click OK to save these changes. If our content has been helpful, 
please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel where we will continue to offer free tips and help for our label printer users. And be sure to click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of our future releases. And please use the add comment section below to contact us with your questions or feedback. Thank you.